<laughs> Welcome to our finals TagCon 2022 Trivia Games Finals. Today we're going to crown our 2022 champion and we're all very excited. The um, games are forever. The games are forever. I hope all of you who are playing our winners from yesterday have your two devices and you have everything logged in and are ready to play. Um, today, our quiz has 35 questions. I just want you to be ready for a slightly longer quiz than you had la yesterday. And I have the pleasure of introducing our today's host and um, MC, Richard Joel, who we're very happy to have back um, this year again. And, you know, he's our producer slash director, writer. I don't know what all you do, Richard. Um, <laughs> all of the above and some. <laughs> and some more, yeah. Um, uh, who has optioned um, Vera's book. So we're very um, happy for that. And um, he's going to be emceeing our, our quiz. So I'm going to share screen and Richard is going to um, get us going. I'm seeing, so just hold on while I share screen. And I'm turning it over to you, Richard. Awesome, hey everybody, welcome back to 2022, the TagCon Finals Trivia Game. I'm excited to be back. Ladies, always a pleasure to join the, the Zoom room with you. Uh, I hope everybody's excited for this finals. It's gonna be a tough competition, I know already, because I looked at the prelims. So shall we get this party started and get right into question number one? I think so. Okay. Right, 2022 tag trivia final quiz. Everybody excited. Let's get going with question number one. Which family has the longest line of nobility? And you have about 14 seconds left to answer the question. All right, the correct answer, we got 11, uh, 11 people got it correct, right on, congratulations. All right, um, Ellen is starting, Ellen Airy is starting off with the lead right now with 858 points off the first question. She must have got in there pretty quickly, but we've got 34 more questions to go, so people, plenty of time to get back in the lead. Let's jump into question number two. How many minutes were Gwen and Hugo missing from the quantum stream during the first race? Remember, the faster you lock in the correct answer, the more points you will score. And the correct answer was 49. 10 of you got it correct. Let's see what our leaderboard looks like after just two questions now. Ellen is still in the lead by building her lead a little bit over Kat and Lois. Um, let's jump into question number three. Let's, let's heat up the, the trivia game here. In Aeson Black, what term does Aeson not use when thinking about Gwen? 15 seconds. Two seconds if you haven't locked in. I have no idea. Uh, 13 people got it right. Uh, let's see who they are. And Ellen's still in the lead uh, over Kat and Lois. Seems to be a pretty tough competition there, but anybody can take this with plenty of questions left. Uh, and Sarah, Sarah Ryan moved up five places off this last question. Congratulations, Sarah, for moving up the board by five spots. Let's jump into our next question. Who is not one of Gwen's pilots for her last Pegasus release team mission? You have 15 seconds. It's Darius. I'm pretty sure it's Darius. <laughs> I'm sure of those two. Guys, everybody should be muted except Richard. 
Exactly. Yes. If you if you're not okay. muted, please mute. Only five of you got that correct. You. That was a good tough question. Let's see if that split some people up on the leaderboard. Oh, Ellen is on fire. She hasn't missed one yet. Lois and Kat have switched spots, and V has jumped up into four. I like this. Ellen has a streak of four correct answers in a row so far. All right, let's move on to question number five. The four green quadrant cornerstone qualities are endurance, resistance, strength, and 15 seconds to answer this. I can see we've made the questions a lot harder this year, which is fantastic. Who came up with the questions this year? Was it a group effort? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, but I had an awful lot of fun as last year's trivia champion coming up with new questions. All right. The answer was patience, and only seven of you got that right. Oh, that's not good. Um, <laughs> come on now. Who's not paying attention today? Uh, all right. Seven of you got the right answer was patience. Let's see. Is Ellen? Ellen has gotten. Oh my gosh. Ellen has still not missed a question. She uh, put the Lois? Airy on the end of her name. Ellen Airy, yes. And Lois oh. and Lark Ascending just moved up into third place. V is now in fourth, and Kat Underwoof is now in fifth. All right, um, let's keep going. During his final moments at uh, Isla Terra, Aeson thinks of his father as a coward or possibly what? 12 seconds left. Looks like everybody almost is locked in here. We're missing, I think, one. And the answer was a wise statesman. Only two of you got that right. Oh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's see who the two were. Ellen Airy clearly got it right. And it looks like she moved up four places. So maybe that was somebody who got it right. And also Harriet looks like a highest climber. I'm not sure here who the two people were other than Ellen. Uh, let's move on to the next question. In what venue was the gifts assembly held? It's a good question. And you know, you're all invited to the wedding. <laughs> if you haven't got your invite yet, keep looking for it. I'm sure it's gonna come. <laughs> Three seconds left. <clears throat> Everybody's locked in. And I'm at Rotunda was the correct answer. Six of you got the right. And we're just going to jump right in that leaderboard and see if Alan Airy just keeps going. It look wow, she is racking up some points. She may be tough to beat on this one. Uh, Sarah Ryan just moved up five places. Uh, she moved up into third, Harriet's in fourth, and Lark Ascending dropped down to fifth after this last question. Okay, Alan Airy looks like the tough one to beat today. Let's keep going. Which Atlantean holiday is celebrated during red season? Which Atlantean holiday is celebrated during red season? People are locking in fast. I think everybody might know this one. Very good, couple left. Burning night, 15 of you got that right. Correct and excellent. And I'm assuming Ellen is still, <laughs> Ellen just keeps racking up the points with 6,431 points so far. Uh, don't give up hope people, there's plenty of questions. We've only gone through eight, there's still 27 questions to go. Plenty of time to catch Ellen Airy. Uh, Lois, see Harriet's moved up into fourth place now and Lark Ascending is holding on that fifth place. So let's keep going. Who inducts Aeson into the Astor Damon group? He's locking the answers pretty quickly. Still a few left. One person left, seven seconds. There we go. Uh, eight of you, only eight of you got that right? Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm gonna guess that Ellen got this one right. Uh, let's check out our leaderboard. Yes, Ellen seems to have fast fingers on her answers too, because she's racking up quite a few points. Harriet's moved up in third. And Monahe Dean is moved up into fifth. Congratulations. Uh, and KDL has climbed up three places. We haven't, we don't see her on the leaderboard, but she's moving up slowly. Excellent, excellent. Lois still in second place, Harriet in third. Let's move on to question number 10. We're almost a third of the way through the, the quiz here. 
Which of these students did not bully Gwen at Maple Road Jackson High School? I thought my name might be up there, ladies, but I guess not. <laughs> One more answer to lock in. Three seconds. Uh, Archer Richards, uh, nine of you got that correct. And let's see, after 10 questions. Uh, oh, Ellen didn't score any points there, so I'm wondering if she missed that one. Uh, Lois, Harriet, Larkas, Sending moved back up into fourth and V in fifth. Kat Underwolf, and Kat Underwolf has moved up five places as well. Congratulations, Kat. Uh, all right, let's get to question number 11. This is exciting. <laughs> okay, what shuttle did Hugo and Gwen fly in in their first shuttle race? I love that images of the, of the circular spacecraft. Yeah. How fun. Those are great. All right, the answer was ICS-2 shuttle number 72. 11 of you got the correct answer. Congratulations to those who did. And let's see what happened with our leaderboard. Ellen Airy pulling out about 850 points ahead of Lois, but she's on fire because Lois is now in second and she's got the last four answers correct. We have Harriet and V still in the top five. All right, question number 12, a third of the way through the quiz. Uh, what is Chihar's home province? We have 10 seconds. Uh, eight of you got that correct, congratulations. Seems to be a big um, split on the answers here. Uh, Ellen Airy again gets another correct answer. Lois did. Um, Lark sending Harriet all in the same top five. Let's move on to question number 13. We're picking up speed here. Can anybody catch Ellen Airy? In the semifinals, which color quadrant was not represented on Team Gwen? Seven seconds left if you haven't locked in your answer. Two seconds. The answer was blue, only seven of you got that correct. And let's see if anybody's changing our top five. No. No. Okay. Well, we'll just keep cruising along then. Question number 14. Who is the command pilot of ICS-3? 15 seconds. Uh, only two of you got, only two of you got that right. Wow, okay. That was a tough question. Let's see who, which two got it right. Aha, Cora Van Weeren comes out of nowhere into third place. That was a big, big question. You can see anybody can still win this game. There's plenty of questions, plenty of tough questions left. Anybody can move up into the top position. So keep, keep playing. Uh, let's move on to our uh, next question, question number 15. What are the initials of the official broadcasting network in Poseidon? This looks like a tough one because people are taking their time to answer. We've got 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Correct answer is H-R-I-P-N. 14 of you got that right. We slipped in an easy question, clearly. Uh, all of you know your, your, your tag history. Uh, let's move on to our leaderboard. Uh-huh, Ellen still at the top, just crossing the 10,000 mark. Harriet moved up in the fifth place and Cora is still in third. Um, and KDL has just moved up six places uh, on the, in the underneath there. Let's move on to question number 16. We're approaching the halfway point. What is Zelio's punishment for fighting over Aeson's dorm bed? 15 seconds, it seems like a lot of people know this answer, they're answering quickly. 
which as you know, scores you more points the faster you lock in your answer. Uh, washing dishes and scrubbing the kitchen for a week. 16 of you got that right. Let's see our leaderboard. And Harriet moves up into fourth place. Uh, Cora has the highest answer streak of four in a row right now. Congratulations, Cora. And Ellen Airy's still at the top, just about under 11, uh, 10,000, 11,000 points. Congratulations, Ellen. Let's move on to question 17. <clears throat> the interrogation room on ICS2, where Logan questioned Brie Walton, was on ship level what number? 15 seconds. Uh, the answer was five. Six of you got that correct. Let's see our leaderboard. Ellen uh, got it right. Harriet moved up into third place. Congratulations, Harriet. Uh, and right now, uh, Ellen is, is breaking away from the pack with quite a substantial lead, about 2,900 points. Congratulations, Ellen Airy. Keep it going. Let's move on to our next question. Question number 18. We're just passing the halfway point now. How many times did Gwen strike Claudia when they sparred? Plenty of answers to still move up and try and catch Ellen Airy. The answer was four and four of you got that correct. Let's see our leaderboard. Ellen and Lark Sanding, Lark, Lark is Sanding, Sending got that, excuse me. Uh, and Ellen Airy is 12,726 points. She's now gotten four correct answers in a row. Plenty of time to still catch her. The faster you lock in your answers, the more points you can score and the easier chance you can get to number one. So let's move on to question number 19. Who on Deneb's team was Gwen competing against when she stabbed her own hand? Great picture. <laughs> 15 seconds. I'm gonna have nightmares from that. <laughs> Five seconds left if you haven't locked in your answer. Uh, VDOM is the answer. Only 70 of you got that right. Let's see if anybody's making an approach toward Ellen Airy on this leaderboard here. Well, you can see Ellen didn't get that one right. So people are still have a chance to catch her. Uh, Lark Ascending is moving up in the third. Uh, Lois, Harriet, and Cora Van Weeren are still in the top five. Um, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get to number one. Question number 20. What did, where, what did Gwen wear to the ICS2 Green Zero G dance? Seven seconds. None of these she didn't attend. Most of you got that right, 14. Great, congratulations. Let's see. Harriet's moved back up into third. She has moved back up into fifth. And Lois is holding a strong second with Alan Airy crossing the 13,000 point mark. Congratulations, Alan Airy. Uh, let's keep going. Question number 21. Who is the first of ASON's friend group to become an Astrodamon? Fifteen seconds. People are locking in their answers quickly. I like that. Score more points that way. Uh, only seven of you got that right. Okay, let's see which seven. Ellen got it. Katie L has made a strong streak of three answers. She's now in the top five. Congratulations, Katie L. And Ellen Airy still at the top of 14,500 points. Lois, Harriet, and Marcus Sending still holding tight in the top five. Congratulations to everybody. But we're on to question number 22 to see if this leaderboard can change. What was the name of the earth band that sang Asteroid Burning Love? Ten seconds. All uh, right, only five of you got that right. Let's see if that changed our top five. It did. Harriet now moved up into second place. Congratulations, Harriet. You've got three in a row right now. KDL has now jumped into fourth, and V is now in fifth. Congratulations into getting into the top five. Still plenty of questions to move this board around. Let's see. Let's see our question number 23. 
When Gwen enters the arena at the start of the game, stage one, the contenders next to her are wearing what? The answer is red and green uniforms. Only four of you got that right. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see which four. All right, Ellen Airy got it right and KDL got it right. Congratulations to the two of you in the top five, that is. Um, all right, let's move on to question number 24. Possibly another tough question. How many days does a dose of the imperial contraceptive last? That's a good question. Five days, 15 of you got that correct. Congratulations. Uh, let's see our leaderboard. Everybody on the leaderboard got it right. So we keep uh, the same five. And KDL, you have a streak of six correct answers in a row. Congratulations. Uh, we're on to question number five and we're picking up speed. At the start of the game, stage three, which ring had black shark infested water? At the start of the game, stage three, which ring had black shark infested water? Ring five, 12 of you got that correct, congratulations. Let's see our top five. Katie, you missed a question. Oh, uh, all right, Ellen Airy still at the top uh, with 16,312 points. She seems unbeatable. Let's go on to question number 26. The formal military clap of the SBC and IF fleet is performed by? Twelve seconds left. Seven seconds. Lock in your answers if you haven't. Two seconds. Striking palms over the tops of closed fists. Nine of you got that correct. Congrats. And let's see after 26 questions, how our leaderboard is looking. All right, Ellen Airy still at the top at 17,127. Sarah Ryan has made a jump into fourth place and KDL has dropped down to fifth. Uh, four players have reached an answer streak of three in a row. Congratulations to you guys and girls. Uh, let's move on to question number 27. Where is the RQC that Arita is sent to first before coming to Pennsylvania? 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Uh, United United Industrial. Five of you got that answer correct. And let's see which five. All right, Sarah Ryan has moved up into third. B has moved up into fifth, uh, and there's still, there, listen, there's still eight questions left. Plenty of time to catch Ellen Airy at the top. Question number 28. What color is Cavalli? <laughs> 10 seconds. <clears throat> Plum is the correct answer. Nine of you got that correct. Congratulations. And let's see, after 28 questions, what does our leaderboard look like? Uh, Manash Dean just moved into fifth. Congratulations. And Ellen Airy crossing the 18,000 point answer or, or uh, points there. Congratulations, Ellen Airy. Let's move on to question number 29. We're coming down to our last seven questions here. What was ASUN's office number at the Pennsylvania RQC? 15 seconds. The answer was 512, 13 of you got that correct. And let's see how we did. All right, Ellen Airy, Harriet, Sarah Ryan, Lois, and Manish Dean are still in the top five. Congratulations. We've got six questions left, six questions only. Question number 30. Which warships are Gwen and Manala on for final Astrakhadra mission? 
which warships are Gwen and Manala on for the final Astrocadra mission? Eight seconds left. Two and six. Six of you got that correct. Let's see which six. All right, Lois moved up into third. Manash Dean moved up into fourth, and Sarah Ryan has dropped into fifth place. Uh, Manash Dean, you have three correct answers in a row, and you're moving up the leaderboard. Uh, Ellen Airy still at 18,947 points. Question number 31. When do fleet cadets receive their first Astrocadra pin? When do fleet cadets receive their first Astrocadra pin? Nine seconds. Five. After completing their first year, 14 of you got that correct answer. And Sarah Ryan back up into third. KDL has jumped into the top five. And Ellen Airy with four questions left is at the top with 19,748 points. All right, question number 32. When a commoner joins the priesthood, he or she, what? 15 seconds to go. Nine seconds. Remains a commoner is the correct answer. Only four of you got that right. Let's see which four. Well, Katie L jumps into third. She's on fire with four questions in a row, right? Ellen Airy got that one right, crossed the 20,000 point mark. Uh, we've got three questions left. Let's get to the last three. What's question number 33? Who attended all of Gwen's public bridal events? Bridal court, bridal show day, and gifts assembly. 15 seconds. Ten. I think a lot of you are going to get this one right. I can feel it. Yep. La Ronda was the correct answer. Twelve of you got this right. And our leaderboard looks like. All right. Harriet's in second. <clears throat> Sarah Ryan's moved up in third. Katie on Lois. And we know who's still in the top position since the first question is Ellen Airy. Question number 34. The original games categories of merchant and laborer eventually evolved into ten seconds left. Five seconds if you haven't locked in your answer. And the correct answer was entrepreneur and athlete. Nine of you got that correct. Let's see if anybody changed on our leaderboard. All right, Manash Dean just moved up into third. So we've got Ellen Airy, Harriet, Manash Dean, Sarah Ryan, and KDL with one question left to go. Let's see how this game ends. Question number 35. During semifinals, what is the first creature Gwen sees in the LA River Basin? 15 seconds. This is our last question. Hopefully you all get it correct. Answer on a good, uh, good note here with the last question of the games. A bird was the correct answer. 10 of you got that right, congratulations. And let's see what our final top five look like. Ready, let's see the leaderboard. Our podium with 19 out of 35 questions with Sarah Ryan, 16,412. Number two was Harriet getting 20 out of 35. And number one was Ellen Airy getting 25 out of 35. Congratulations to all three of you and everybody for competing in the 2022 TagCon final trivia games. Yay for Ellen Airy, Harriet, and Sarah Ryan. Big, yeah. round, of, big round of applause for everybody playing today. Yay. I'm gonna stop sharing there. And um, so congratulations and thank you so much, Richard. Um, we really appreciate you.
you add a little panache to to the games. So we really appreciate that. Exactly. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and so what I would like to do right now is um, let everybody know that up next is going to be a short focus chat that will start um, at 1215 Eastern time. And that focus chat will be about Brie Walton. So if you wanna talk all things Brie Walton, um, please join us. We had a couple of focus chats yesterday and they were lots of fun. So thanks everybody. And we'll say- Shelly. Goodbye. What? So thank you, Shelly, for uh, oh. running a nice uh, quiz. You're most welcome. Thank you, Shelly. Thank, thank you, you, Richard. So much. Thank you, Richard, Shelly. Richard, you Richard, you put my effort yesterday. Participating. We're so glad everybody participated, both in the pre's and in the finals. It's so much fun. It is. It was a, a really fun year. Thank you. I'm going Fantastic to job, everyone. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Well, thank you.